Okay guys, back now, sorry, wife called and been talking for a while, so, <laughs> uh, I've got the micro motherboard, uh, the ATXMs removed, and the standoffs that you want to use now are the AM, so I need to put one there because I forgot to put one there, you can see it marked on there, AM. AM, AM, and then down here you want the A because this is just a full size ATX motherboard. So you see it says A for ATX and M for micro ATX. So uh, even though these are AM, you still want to have them in there if you're putting in a full ATX motherboard in. Um, you still want to put the AM ones in and you need to also put in the uh, just the A's so I need to get now on my board there's no hole that matches up for this one but there is for this one so we're gonna go ahead and put that one uh, over here that's missing right there and this is where that nut driver comes in handy that I was telling you guys about. So we'll just kind of get a little screw in by hand. And then snug it up a little with this nut driver. No need to over tighten anything. Just get them snug. Give them an extra little couple of cranks. Once you feel it get tight. down here, way back at the corner. And down here. And this should be the last one then. Now, if you have cables that which you more than likely you're going to these are your power switch your hard drive light your hdd leds you know your indicator that your hard drives are reading your reset switch and your power switch that usually run up to the front of your case so um and also if you have audio jacks on the front of your case also i would recommend running these in through through here before you put the motherboard in because once you put the motherboard in um, there's not much room to work with down there so I would definitely uh, get those out and then put the motherboard in so then you just take your motherboard and drop it into position now I don't have an IO panel for this board I have lost it so usually you would put your IO panel in snap it into place before you do this and now you see your cables are already out there and you can see what I meant here about how there's not much room to work with so just make sure that those are through there either through you know one of these holes in the shroud this is in you know the Fantex P400 uh, Fantex Eclipse P400 so you just want to make sure those are there Actually, I need to get these over to this hole. I had them up through that one because of the old uh, micro board, but I'm gonna need those down on this side now. And if you have a USB three on this board, it's up there. So I can run it through here. And uh, then you got channel fan two. And then your CPU optional, your water pump, CPU fan, the channel fan one. And I think there's another one yeah, down here, channel fan three. So if you need to hook up any kind of uh, other USB, uh, you can do those down here and run them down through the shroud there. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
pull this back out because I need to get those wires um, run through that other hole before we do this. So it just depends on what kind of hookups you guys got, you know. Um, but usually, you know, everybody's power switch, reset switch, and hard drive LED run to the front top part of the case somewhere and your audio also so you just want to make sure you got those run through before you put the motherboard in if you got a shroud okay so now that's done we can drop the motherboard back in Make sure all your holes are lined up. Oops, wire's got my way there. Looks like everything's lined up good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the screws in for the motherboard now. Hopefully I can find all of them here. Always make sure that you're using the right size screws because these things strip out pretty easy. And I guess my phone battery is getting low because it said that the flash just went off. So. It looks like we can still see everything pretty good. Don't over tighten these, just get them to where they're snug. You just need it to hold it in there. You don't need to crank down on it. when we get done with this this is going to be pretty much a drop in for some kind of video card uh, hopefully the RX 580s will come down in price or um, probably like a GTX either 1050 Ti or maybe even a little higher like a GTX 1060 but if at all possible I'd like to put a RX 580 in this and then that will get me one step closer to getting back to uh, Crossfire so then I'd only have to get one more Motherboard screws here. Put it on there. Probably gonna have to bump up the PSU size on this too because it's pretty small. I think it's only got like a 400 or 350 or something in it. It's pretty small. So I'll have to get another motherboard. Or not another motherboard, sorry. Another power supply to be able to handle the GPU so this motherboard's actually got an M2 socket which is nice and it's uh, down here out of the way too not underneath your uh, GPU so definitely a nice AM3 plus board one of the best ones that you can get um, for about the hundred dollar range
get way back in that corner on this one. Okay. Screw, 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 screw. All right, we're good to go. And some of you guys might be noticing that I'm missing the plastic part around here. Uh, that's because I was uh, swapping parts out when I uh, took the water cooler off of this and put it onto my Ryzen build. So uh, we'll get around to putting that on. I can show you guys how to do that also. So, all right, that'll be it for this part. Motherboard is installed. Uh, except for the IO plate, which I don't have. So, all right, guys, uh, I guess the next step we'll move on to is hooking up the wiring. All right, thanks.